Hey YouTube and friends on the forums. In this video I want to share a time-saving method for building a fiberglass fuselage. In this alternative method, I'm going to make a basic plug with the right lines for my aircraft and then lay my final glass directly on that plug, cutting out the time-consuming mold building process. The process starts with cutting formers, laying them out on the build rig, and installing blocks of foam between them. I'm using a hot wire bow to cut the blocks to the right depth, so you should always be sure you have good ventilation. Some other hints here. Cut your foam slightly oversized. It's always easier to remove material than to add it. Your best bet is to use an adhesive that sands well, and if you're using an expanding glue like Gorilla Glue, be sure to clamp your parts together so they don't shift. Keeping Gorilla Glue away from the edges of the formers will also help during shaping. Under the rough shaping. This part is pretty straightforward. First, make sure you're wearing breathing and eye protection. Foam dust can be pretty nasty, particularly for people like me with allergies. Using simple hand tools, you're going to shape the foam blocks to the plywood formers. The tools I use most are a Stanley Sureform shaver, a set of rafts from Woodstock, a Stanley pocket plane, and sanding blocks from 3M. Continue refining the shape until you're happy with it. Then, using reference drawings and pictures, you'll mark, make alignment marks and mark critical points. I like to use a thick sharpie for this, as it will show through the thin coats of filler we're about to use. The next phase is filling the surface with spackle to fill voids and low spots. I use DAP Fast and Final Drywall Spackle for this. Use thin coats and block sand between coats to get a smooth finish. The process continues until you're happy with the surface. It is far easier to fix mistakes now than after we put down glass. So take your time and get it right. Now that I'm happy with the fuselage, it's time to finish it with a coat of light fiberglass. Although the weight of the fuse here doesn't matter, I prefer to use a lightweight glass so that finishing goes faster. Finish the plug with the standard process of prime, sand, fill, sand, repeat until you're happy with the surface. Tiny imperfections are okay as they will only show on the inside of the fuselage but the better the plug, the better the finished product will be. Next we prepare to lay up our first airworthy fuselage. Make sure the plug is clean and apply several coats of mold release wax. I'm using a wax from Meguiar's, but there are many options. When you're happy with the surface, apply a coat of PVA mold release and let it set up full. Now we lay up the glass and we'll make up our final fuselage. To do this, I'm laying up four layers of two and three quarter ounce glass alternating the direction of the weave with each layer. The final layer is a half ounce glass, giving me a good surface for finishing. You can adjust the layers of glass based on the size of the model you're building. For this quarter scale biplane, these five layers work very well. Now we move on to finishing the glass as we would any other finished product, prime, wet sand, repeat, until the surface is just right. While the fuselage is still on the plug, I lay up my panel lines with chart pack tape and shoot the additional primer needed to set the lines. A final wet sanding and the finished fuselage is ready to be carefully cut from the plug. The finished fuselage is now ready for internals and paint. It is strong and will require minimal formers for reinforcement. It is also very lightweight for an aircraft this size. If you're interested in seeing more of this project and other projects like it, please like and subscribe. Thanks!